gentleman from Arizona, Mr. Gosar. Mr. Chairman, I yield my time to the gentlewoman from Utah, Ms. Love. Thank you. Um, I'm right here. This oh, is thank you. First of all, I want to say thank you for coming and answering questions. I want to be very clear that there are no gotcha questions here. I just want to be able to get as much information as possible. I'm not here to try and change your mind or change the minds of my colleagues. I'm just trying to get as much information out to the public as we possibly can because these, um, some of these funds are their taxpayer dollars, and I think that they deserve to have some answers. Um, first of all, uh, Ms. Richards, in the annual report, Planned Parenthood's annual report, um, says that you are providing over uh, 489,000 breast cancer screenings, um, and you've stated that um, none of your clinics actually have the mammogram machines. How many, of the, how many of your affiliates have those mammogram machines? Well, our health centers are part of our affiliates. We have more than 650 health centers. So affiliate is simply the corporate structure for those health And centers. how many of them have mammogram machines? Their affiliate isn't a health center. Okay, I, so I just, I said, I think I spoke earlier, we do not have mammogram machines okay. at our health centers, and we've never stated that we did, as I think has been, was mentioned earlier. For women who go for a breast exam, just as I go to my, for my annual, you get a breast exam, and if you need a mammogram, you're referred to a radiological clinic, and that's what we do at Planned Parenthood Okay, every so day. you refer them to a radiological clinic. Or whatever. The, we you know we have partnerships with the Komen Foundation. Okay. We have a lot of different that's ways what, in which we refer that's for what I want to know. mammograms. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, how, how much does Planned Parenthood make from cancer screenings? Do you know how much you make? How much you're... How much we make? Yeah, how cancers? much... Yes, the revenues. Well, for federal, for federal, so just talking the federal funding, we don't make money off of cancer okay, screening. That's, what I, so that's, that, that's great. How many, how much do, um, well, you don't get anything from mammograms either. How much is made from abortions? What's the revenue that comes so in from abortions? So let me just, you're going to have to bear with me a minute so I can be responsive. I, don't, I, 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 I know you only have a little bit of time. time. So if you, if you could just are, respond as quickly as possible. There, I will. Okay. There are 59 affiliates. Each of them are completely different, right? They all run their own operation. And I can't tell you, I think this question was raised earlier. I can't, you can't tell, tell you tell me how much you economic. actually make from abortions. You can't, you can't give that number. Okay. The, the national office, just also so you know, we do not provide health services at the national office. We've provided information for all 59 affiliates, their annual, their, their audited financial statements. I wasn't even I, asking about the affiliates. I'm just Well, that's where about... health services are provided, so I think that's... Okay. That's okay. Relevant so, and, to your but you question. don't. Okay, but you don't have those numbers. All you're saying is that the healthcare affiliates have these numbers, and you don't have them, so you don't know. Certainly not. Okay. So, um, for the year ending in June 30th, 2014, according to Planned Parenthood reports, one, one million, one, sorry, excuse me, 127.1 million in revenue over expenses. From 2005 to 2013, Planned Parenthood reported a 53% reduction in cancer screenings and prevention services and 42% reduction in breast exams and breast care while abortions have increased 24%. Can you understand a little bit of the hesitancy and uh, trying to figure out why those numbers have gone down where abortions have actually we're, okay, so we're talking about two different, I'm trying to, so we don't mix up, mix apples and oranges here. So federal funding pays, Medicaid funding and Title X pays for very specific preventive care services, as we've discussed. So, and federal funding does not pay for abortion, so except what in I'm very trying limited to say circumstances. Is what is, what, why would it be so offensive if we actually took funding and put it into clinics that actually provide, the, where those numbers are actually increasing, providing health care exam, providing well, mammograms, you're providing that the, Medicaid, have those. the Medicaid reimbursements, if they are going up, if the numbers are going up, that's because more services are being provided. And as you know, many women now, because of the Affordable Care Act and Medicaid expansion, there are more patients on Medicaid that are coming to us for health care. So that's all the reimbursements are directly related to health care delivery services. That's ex we work. Planned Parenthood is, you were not here earlier, but I'll tell you, Planned Parenthood is just like any other hospital or healthcare okay, provider so, that provides but, but you service have also Medicaid made it, patients. You've also made it very clear that if Planned Parenthood wasn't around, um, this would be very difficult for low-income families. So what is the responsibility of hospitals and other clinics that 
you know, that, that you actually, that, that people can actually go to. I well, mean, many you can't of them say that Planned Parenthood is like the only place no, but that is met, available. But there obviously it's a place that 2.7 million patients choose voluntarily to come to every year. And I think what's important is that in a lot of areas of the country, they're, they won't take more Medicaid to go, patients. But what is our, what is our job here? Is to provide as many options as possible. So all I'm saying I is that I would agree. there's no reason why we can't provide those options elsewhere, well, while people can't, where people can have their, uh, their choice as to where they go. Exactly. Congressman, I think actually this may be an area time, where you and I agree. My time is up, but Mr. Chairman, I would... I, I'd um, like the chance you, to answer this. If you could, you did actually. You answered my questions. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Chairman, if you could help in getting some of the information about how much numbers that I've asked for, that would be really helpful. I appreciate it. And the